If your hair is long, out of control, or perhaps you're going gray, today is the day many of you have been waiting for, of course. After a two-month shutdown, Ohio is now allowing hair salons to reopen. Kentucky is another week away. As we cover the rebound, consumer reporter John Mattery shows us the changes to expect and what you are expected to do. John? The reopening that people are waiting for more than almost any other business? Hair salons. In Ohio, it's now legal for them to cut hair again. So we went out to see what you can expect and what you should demand from yours. Okay, you're welcome. The phones are ringing nonstop at Studio 7 Hair Salon on Five Mile in Anderson Township. Studio 7, hold please. With balloons saying, welcome back, Barbara Naylor and her team of stylists are back after a two-month shutdown. But things are different now in a business where people have to work very close to customers. Yeah, we've added the plexiglass to our front desk. We've also added them to the manicure stations as well. That's right, manicures are now done through a slot in the plexiglass. Orange X's mark six foot distancing areas. Stylists disinfect their station between each customer and don't go in until you're called. And getting used to a masked stylist may be a bit jarring at first. Now, if your salon is abiding by the CDC guidelines, the first thing you're gonna see is a sign saying masks required before you can enter. The good news is Mohawks are just optional. And it's for the protection of everybody. We want our clients to feel safe. Worried about hair color ruining your expensive mask? Worry no more. We also have disposable masks that we made for them in case they don't want color. Customer Mary Hepfer has been waiting for this day. It's been two months. So yeah, it feels good. So is Todd Lefevers. It feels fresh. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while, yes. And for me, it was time for a cleanup from stylist Tony to trim that Billy Ray Cyrus mullet I've been growing the past few weeks. If you find your salon not practicing safeguards, such as limiting customers and requiring face masks, let them know and consider going elsewhere. Covering the rebound, John Matteries, WCPO 9 News.